Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Caleb, and I have been considering creating a Minecraft modding series. We're going to start off with just getting Minecraft installed and learn a little bit about working with mods. I've done a lot of stuff on this channel, some Java development, other programming languages, but I've never done anything with game development. So we'll see how it goes, hopefully it's fun, and let's just uh, get started. Now we're actually going to be using Windows for this. I'm on a Mac, but I'm going to be using a virtual machine with Windows. Why? I don't know, but you can do this on Mac. I think the reason I decided to do Windows is because I went through this whole process with Mac and I don't really feel like going through that installation and trying to figure out how to uninstall everything and start fresh with Mac. So I'm going to install it on Windows and then once you got a development environment set up and you can run Minecraft and you can start doing modifications, it's going to be pretty much exactly the same between Windows and Mac. All the code's going to be the same, it's just more the environment that you're in. Now hopefully this works because I'm actually going to be using Windows 11, which is kind of crazy. So here we are on Windows, so what we're going to do is we're going to open a web browser and we're going to go to Minecraft.net and from here we go to Games, Minecraft, Get Minecraft, or you can try it free and we're going to be on the computer and this is where you have a choice. The original version of Minecraft or Minecraft plus a bunch of selling stuff. So this is going to give you access to Minecraft Marketplace. But for most of the modding and to download a lot of really good mods out there, you're actually going to want the Minecraft Java Edition. You can do some stuff with Minecraft Windows 10 Edition, and I'm, I'm sure there's mods out there that are great, but there's a lot more freedom and capability, and the environment is much more developed as of right now with the Java Edition, at least from my knowledge. But maybe we'll look into the Windows 10 Edition in the future. For now, we're going to go with Minecraft Java Edition. Another big difference is that the Minecraft Java Edition is programmed in none other than Java, where I believe the Minecraft Windows 10 version, or what you might hear as the Bedrock Edition, is actually programmed in C++. And that's to support platforms that don't run Java. So this is going to run on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. If you take a look at the other edition, we'll go back and go to the Windows 10 edition, which is the Bedrock edition. This will play on mobile, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PlayStation 4, and give access to the Minecraft Marketplace. So if you have a particular platform you're targeting, well, then you might go off of what platform you're looking for rather than the language or what I am suggesting. As if you need to create something for Xbox or PlayStation, well, then you're going to need to go this route. So we're going to go with this one, and this will be for Windows, Linux, and Mac. From here, we're going to buy Minecraft, and you're going to sign into a Microsoft account. If you don't have one, create one, and you can use any email here, or if you don't have an email address already, you can create a new email address. I already have a Microsoft account, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sign in. Once you're signed in, you will see your username up here in the top right, and you can buy Minecraft, or I already bought it, so you can download it. And this purchase is tied to your account, so you should be able to go to a different computer or laptop, sign into your account, and download Minecraft on there using your account. So it's not tied to one individual computer. So let's go ahead and download Minecraft, download for Windows, and it'll start the MSI download, go through the installation process, and then hit finish. Alright, so it looks like we got that down. Here is the Minecraft launcher. You got your Microsoft login. The Mojang login, that's kind of like uh, old school, you know, moving forward, it's going to be Microsoft login and Mojang accounts are moving over to Microsoft accounts. So we'll just go with Microsoft login and use the same username and password that you either created or already had. So just sign in. All right, I'm logged in. There's my gamer tag. Let's go. Full screen this puppy. And now one thing I want you to take note here is it says latest release. And you can click this drop down. And the only options is latest release and latest snapshot. We're just going to go with latest release. That's what you're going to use to play the game. However, in the future, when you install different mod managers, you might see something like Forge here. So if you're trying to run some mod, you want to make sure you're launching the right one. So we'll go with latest release and hit play. This is where it's going to do the majority of the downloading. You can close out of this message down here. While this downloads, I wanted to explain that the other option here, latest snapshot, this allows you to work with some beta things inside of Minecraft. So if you want to experiment with new features, you can go with this. However, for 
our journey, we're going to focus on latest release, but take note here of the number. We're on 1.17. This is the version that you're going to follow for pretty much everything. So if you're watching this in the future, you know this number might be 1.18 or 1.20. If you download a mod, you want to make sure it's compatible with 1.17 and not just 1.16 or something earlier. All right, that just finished. And it looks like it opened down here, so we can open that. And we'll let this load. All right, and here we are on Minecraft. So the easiest way to get started is just hit single player. Obviously, if you've ever played Minecraft, you know the drill. We're going to talk a little bit about servers and how to set those up as well in this series. You can hear the lovely music. All right, let's go ahead and create our world. Now the world generation process took me a few years, hopefully not quite as long for you guys, but it looks like we're getting pretty close any day now. All right, there we go. It's finally doing something. <laughs> this is so slow, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, I am playing Minecraft on a Mac using a Windows 11 virtual machine, and I think I'm getting like one FPS maybe. Once the entire environment is set up, I'll probably just switch over to my Mac, but we got a clean install and I showed you every single step. So that hopefully is helpful with something. And at this point you should have Minecraft installed. Now you can look at joining servers and adding mods and creating your own mod. So stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching. And this is a little different than what I normally do, but I think it was pretty cool. And we got a lot of cool stuff coming. So thank you for watching. Would appreciate a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.